Wildflower Center is a little piece of Texas in which I hope you will see the story of why I think it's desirable and useful to understand, preserve, and spread the things that grow here naturally that were first year before man came. We are losing our native landscape. I mean, it's just disappearing in front of us. And I think one of the great things that the Wildflower Center has done is it has put a stake in the ground and said, this is important. It's worth preserving. There is no other place like the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center. It's something the nation should be proud of, not just Texans. But if we're going to sustain life on our planet and a high quality of life on our planet, we need to do it the right way. And the Wildflower Center is about doing it the right way. The right way is honoring what nature tells us. It is an enormous visual resource to come out here and look and see what is happening and to see what could translate into their own yards, their own ranches, their own buildings. The Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center is known throughout the country as a premier source of information for the preservation of our endangered species. We might be in danger of losing further plants and seed banking will ensure us that any plants that we lose, we may be able to bring back through the seed bank process. The thing that excites me about the Wildflower Center is that it provides an opportunity to lead industry in how to do things better. They've worked with NASA, they've worked with advanced micro devices to restore the landscape after development and how to utilize in uh, the development native plants. We're not only conserving a precious resource here on site, we're using the native plants that are here that we know are already well adapted to the site and uh, we're basically keeping what would be a waste product and turning it into a real resource. Uh, a park like this can be really uh, the, the sort of heart and lungs of a city. Tallgrass prairie um, and native species generally are very good at cooling the air. They remove air pollutants. They're really good at stormwater mitigation. The great universities in the world have research centers attached to the um, university that focus on botanical research. For the University of Texas to have an affiliation and a relationship with the uh, premier center for native plant research is, is a very, very important. We've got a system of about 24 little sort of miniature uh, roof systems here which are looking at the properties of green roofs. Green roofs, redesigning parks, putting back prairie, all these things can actually help solve problems like uh, global warming by reducing CO2. Wow, look at that pretty guy. He's sunbathing. The outreach to children is extremely important to me. And I think that everything we do in that, whether it's education, the children's garden that we're looking to develop, um, all of those things in terms of attaching kids to native plants and native landscapes is very special to me. We at the Wildflower Center are very concerned about the trends today for children to spend so much of their time indoors and disconnected from nature. One of the things that we hope to do in the creation of the center was to um, cause people to ask questions. It's actually a process of self-discovery, of discovering how the world is made, how we integrate with that world and interact with it, and how it might change the way we think. The Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center is a self-sustaining botanical garden. Our funding comes from the generosity of others. We depend on that to continue this work. Supporting the, the Wildflower Center is really supporting the environment. It's really supporting what's natural and what's native. And 
the research that happens here at the Wildflower Center, the education that happens, the beauty that is here year-round is a testimony to what we need to be doing, what we should be focused on. But here things are allowed to grow the way they were growing before we got here. And if we would just exert a little bit of effort, they would be here after we're gone. We owe that to our children. We owe them the beauty that we found when we were born. I hope we will learn about all the things that grow close around us. Value them, preserve them, use them. You want to preserve what is the beautiful about it, what you like about it, what makes your heart sing.